a name for yourself from undrafted to undeniably relevant. Jose Alvarado carved out a niche for himself and a regular spot in the Pelicans rotation. Now back here in Atlanta where you played your college ball at Georgia Tech, just hanging around? Yeah, just, you know, enjoying my family and, you know, we're going back and visiting sometimes. Well, good. Good to have you back. Congratulations on this amazing rookie season. Your, your minutes increased. Obviously, Willie Green placed some trust in you along the way. What are you most proud about this rookie season? I mean, it's crazy. I, I mean, I'm proud of everything. You know, like I said, I'm just proud to put the jersey on with my last name. And, you know, um, you know, just coming up from the beginning of the season to make it to the playoffs, so it's pretty tough. And um, I'm just excited to get back. And you, you probably introduced yourself to a lot of at least casual NBA fans during the playoffs with that series, high profile against the Phoenix Suns. What did you take away from not only the moments with Chris Paul, which everybody noticed, but the, the entirety of the series? I mean, just learning everything. You know, uh, competing against a Hall of Famer, uh, he taught me, you know, a little, little tricks here and there, but um, just the energy and what I needed. Um, be dedicated and be smart. And then, you know, the little steals I'll be doing and <laughs> you know, trying to get, you know, trying to, you know, make my little niche. Yeah, you developed a signature strategy. I don't, I can't remember, Sam, maybe you can remember. I don't remember anybody doing no. this before. Where you hide <laughs> no. on the baseline and nobody notices you. There are a million people out there. And then you kind of sneak up behind a, a ball handler and swipe for How many guys did you get this year doing this? This year, I don't know, but I, I did it a few times and it worked. So I just kept on doing it as much as I can. <laughs> but you know, as the season went on, they scouted it. They did pretty good. And you know, I tried to get, you know, LeBron and LA, the Lakers. They was on every they single time. Yeah, yeah. They was, they, every time they did a good job with that. But, um, you know, CP, you know, he told me to get my butt back one time, and I said, I need to get him. I need to get him, and, and <laughs> I, I got him one time. <laughs> Young Fowler, I want to ask you this. Being an undrafted free agent, you know, you got to come into the league and dig out a niche for yourself, carve out that niche. You found it on defense. Did you understand when you went to camp there in New Orleans and, and, and they put you on that G League team, you had to find something different? You weren't going to be a 20-point scorer. You weren't going to be a guy to get the minutes to get 10, 12 assists a game. You had to find your niche. What was it about that team and understanding that I can – Make a niche for myself by playing defense. I mean, I think that was my niche from this whole this, this whole uh, draft thing. I said, you know, like I said, I'm not the tallest, I'm not the most athletic, but I could tell you I could give you 100% on defense. So I looked at, you know, everybody, and it's like, when the last person picked up 94 in practice? When the last time people did right. that? Yeah. You know, when, when do people do that? So I was like, you know what? That's going to be me. Let, me. let me be that different of the person. Hopefully it gives me a chance to put it at the highest level. And, you know, that Coach Willie and the staff did it. You know, they gave me a trust and they let me do it. And um, I'm going to stick on that. Well, and Willie Green and the staff gravitated toward defense as the season went on. Herbert Jones started to play a little more. He got into the starting lineup. Yeah. When did you realize that this was going to work out for you and that you really had found a place? I mean, um, soon they let me give me that one opportunity in the NBA. I said, I'm a, I, it was five seconds, three seconds, ten seconds. I'm going to pick up full court. And I always wanted to get a steal at least every time I was in the game, at least for those little minutes. And, you know, you know, as the season went on, Coach Willie seen something in me and then let me, let me, you know, let me be me. What do you got to do for the next step for your progression as a player? We know you're a heck of a defensive player. What do you need to add to your game now to solidify yourself as being, a, being in that rotation? Um, you know, uh, just be me, continue being me, but obviously get better with my jump shot, be consistent with that, and, you know, read the game. But, like, this whole process of the NBA playing against CP, showing me all the things, it showed me what I need to learn as a, just reading as a point guard. And, you know, um, defensively, you know, get stronger, you know, take care of my body in as much as I can. In that weight room. Yeah, yeah, take care of my body as much as I can. But, you know, just learning from um, the things that I learned from the postseason, obviously from a Hall of Famer. You know, it was cool from the outside watching the narrative about the Pelicans sort of shift over the course of the season from what's going on with Zion to, hey, this team's pretty good. That's right. They're yeah. playing some defense and they can make a little noise. Uh, with that being said, Zion's obviously a big part of the picture moving forward. For what sure. kind of intel can you give us? I know you've seen him play a little bit. What do you expect next year? Do you have any sense of it? When, if we get him back or when we get him back, uh, we won't be just a playoff contender team. We'd be a championship contender team. I really think that. You know, we got young cats that are, you know, ready to go at it. You know, uh, we got B.I. playing on a high level, J.V. You know, we got some guys that's ready to um, try to start winning more games. Young fella, I will tell you this, that little trick you got in the corner, man, back in the day, 
we would have been headhunting for you. We would have had to put some of the legal screens. And what we used to do, little guards like you, we would just hit them with their knee right there in the thigh, just to slow them down, not make them want to pick up so much. But retaliation would have been would have been different. Better. Oh, it would have been. I mean, but I would have been ready for it. I'm but ready it for, been for I respect, though. Yeah, I, and that's I know honestly all respect. all respect. And then you know, like I said, I I would have got hit, and I I would have came back to you. I said. You do it again. I got something for you. I got, <laughs> I got something back for you. you know? I know you would. I know you would. Congratulations. It's a great story. Congratulations Absolutely. on the four-year contract you earned at the end of the season. And thanks for uh, coming by and making me look taller. Appreciate it. <laughs>